Welcome back to another Torchwood Reaction. Listen, Cyber Women was quite the episode. You know, Yanto said, I am the main character of this show. And he stepped in. He had his secrets. He had his girlfriend living in the basement who was also a, a Cyber Woman, you know, world dominator, killer. I was like, Yanto, is this how you want to start your arc? So <laughs> Yanto has a lot of explaining to do. But the team is fractured. There's so much infighting and distrust and pain. And, and, and I think people don't just don't fully know each other or can truly understand each other. So I think they need to have a group session, group therapy session. Everyone sits down and Jack Harkness needs to be like, okay, well, I think a couple of you have a few things to say about me. So let's start. You, go. So he needs, to, he needs to do that and uh, everyone needs to air, air their grievances because I think people are holding stuff back and I think people maybe feel like they're scared to say it. I think Yanto felt like he was in the background and he needs to say, yo, I need to start getting some screen time here, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, Gwen needs to call out Owen and say, okay, what was that about? What was that about? And really, like, bring it front and center there, you know, speak up and and and, and tell Jack or, or like, you know, we need to we need to talk about Owen. We need to have that conversation. Uh, Toshiko, we, we're waiting for your episode. We're waiting for you to come out and, uh, you know, be the main character so we can get to know you more. And uh, yeah, yeah. And still I'll continue to face all, 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 all the challenges of this of this world here. Um, also, I was thinking I want to I want to, you know, I, I want to see some more things about Cardiff in general. You know, I want to I want to hear some Blythe Droog, some Welsh and, and just have some more with the with the fact that they're in Cardiff and it is set in, in Cardiff. So I think that part maybe I haven't had as much of. Um, so interested to see more there. But We'll see what happens this episode. Don't forget the full length reactions and uh, bonus content early access are all on the Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon if you haven't already. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, do all the engagement, do all the damn things. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Helps the algorithm. Uh, with that, let's get into it. I'm returning to the same spot. I do hope they're here. Okay. I have to move carefully. I don't want to frighten them. She looks like she has stories to tell. Frighten them? What in the night wisps, forest spirits? Nothing. <gasps> I told you. Fairies. Night spirits. Miss, I, I knew it. That's what I pictured in my mind. Glowing, glowing, uh, flying things. They're fairies. <laughs> And what do you want with them? Oh, here we go. By Instagram. Auntie, we cannot. Maybe that affects them. That camera is going to affect them. Ooh, they're going to turn dark. You're going to see some dark fairies right now. They're like, <laughs> you taking my picture? Oh, come back here. Oh, 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 they are. <laughs> Yeah, they will switch it up on you. They're like, and then they turn into the demon form. This is what happens when you take people's picture. They're like, I want to see the pictures. I want to see. Delete. <laughs> no one is ever. Small worlds. Small worlds. Okay, about getting smaller. It's a small world after all. Of course, Jack. Jack is shirtless. I mean, if you got it, he's remembering. Uh, this time in the military. Oh. Out. What was that? Jack. Is he getting bits and pieces or is, or is that just memories that he just has that he, he knows already? I wonder if his stuff is all wiped. He, oh, they had like petals, rose petals in their mouths, which is supposed to signify blood, maybe? Oh, Lord. Yanto. What should you do? Oh, this is gonna be a strained relationship. Awkward. What you got? <sighs> Funny sort of weather patterns. I know that sound. Ooh, Cody Carrig Primary School. Primary. Not elementary. Oh, she said I'm gonna take the scenic route home. There are... Dark fairies about. Oh. 
Who's that? He's not... He's not your friend. These are her parents. You better hurry up. Yo. I hope she doesn't get picked up by... Oh! Yo, let me tell you right now. School? Primary? Secondary? High? They are rough. Yo. Oh, she was monitoring her and now she's not. Yo, school pickups are actually pretty, like, risky place for young kids. Did she run away? Oh, young girl. She wants to just go because I had, they didn't come, so she's going to walk home. Oh, walk homes are not it. Oh. Your mom asked me to fetch you. But she's a bit late. No. No. Do you not hear when she said no? If you bring out candy. Yo. Did you hear me? Yo. Oh yeah, Jafir is gonna, he's gonna protect this girl. Get him. Oh. Call away. Come away. Get him. Yes, cast that spell. I go back to the depths where you came from, demon. She's like, <laughs> next time, do not mess with Betsy Jane. From an old she was. <laughs> Here we go. Fairies, are you kidding me? I suppose I'm one of the fortunate few who's been allowed to see our little friends. And it's been no easy job. That's her. One needs to have the patience of a saint and the blind faith of a prophet. Blithe. For me, the long wait has been worthwhile. This is my first picture. Not that clear, I know, but the ring of stones can be seen quite distinctly. Hmm. Well, of course, I'm not the world's best photographer. This little person is just about visible. I was so lucky to have seen them. Such a magical moment. Yes, Eleanor. I know in my heart that they're friendly, loving <laughs> creatures. Good luck. Dima they will come for you. They will swiftly change from, from fairies to, to dark fairies. She always gets it wrong. Still, when did you take these? In Roundstone Wood. Not far from here. So good to see you again, Jan. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna see one. What's wrong? Oh, Jack and I have always disagreed about fairy. He only ever sees the bad. They're all bad. Well, I suppose one person's good could be somebody else's evil. That's what his father used to say. <gasps> oh, oh, Jack, if only you'd seen them there in the wood. <laughs> Dancing, the fairy lights were shining. Do you have She's any more so photos? Optimistic and positive. Yes, at home. Very dear. <laughs> I need to see them all. <laughs> she said, I'm not gonna show these ones where the fairies turn into black, dark fairy, <laughs> dark demonic. Oh my god. Yo, he's so creepy, no? Something wrong, man? Sorry. That's, that's the bleeding from his nose. He's just running away now, or he's. In oh, they are, they are chasing him. Yo. Oh! What just happened? Are they like invisible to everybody else? Yo, did, they go, did they go inside? <laughs> oh! The pedals! Oh! What a way to go! Oh. Water too! Yo! Scarlet fever? He's he's literally foaming. What? Hey, you want to take the police car? Yeah, arrest him. <laughs> what? <laughs> they helped me, and I wanted to take the car. Jazz, come here. Oh, Jazz. You know my dad. Oh, just bloody well do what she says. You must never walk home on your own. You understand? It's not. Yeah, that was that was dangerous. No one can hurt me. Oh, because she got she got the protection. 
She's like, oh, I'm, you, I got my uh, this is personal music. bodyguards. And they can fly. They must have just pictures of him. That cat is cute. Come on, my darling. White time you went outside. Cat is like, why am I being carried right now? <laughs> oh, Jack. Oh, they're exposing some of his past now. Maybe Jack this has a you. connection to these fairies. Sorry. No, that's my dad. He and Estelle were quite an item once upon a time. Damn, you are then why did they part? twins with your dad. It was wartime. He was posted abroad. Spitting image does not do it justice in this, in this case. If you don't mind me asking, did you know Jack's father after the war? No, we lost touch. Did all three of you ever meet? You, Jack, and his father? Oh, no. Oh, she's trying to do investigative journalism. Jack contacted me a few years ago. I'm so surprised. Same walk, yeah, same smile. He is his dad. I hope he's still alive. Hmm. He's in his early 90s now. You could always ask Jack about him. I have. But he doesn't seem to want to talk about his father. He doesn't want to talk about anything. See these creatures, you call us immediately. Understand? Night or day, it doesn't matter. Just call us and be careful. It's important to me. I have nothing to worry about. Just be careful. <laughs> hmm. He really, he's really taking, he's really, uh, Estelle likes her. Living in town. I mean, of course. She belongs in the countryside. How often do you get to see her? We meet up now and again. Stop. Whenever she's seen her fairies? She calls them fairies. I don't. Never really had a proper name. Hmm. Why not? Something from the dawn of time. How could you possibly put a name to that? Dawn of time is wild. Worse. How We're come? always stuck in Ilya. Because they're part of us. So we pretend to know what they look like. We imagine they have tiny little wings and are bathed in moonlight. Tinkerbell. Think dangerous. Think something you can only half see, like a glimpse, like something out of the corner of your eye with a old moments and memories that are frozen in amongst it like the breeze spinning around a ring planet turning whirling oh. backwards and forwards through time that's that's, that's quite the, them the image of them before all hell breaks loose so i guess they did come in effect uh, back when he was in the military he did have uh, an experience with them why won't you play anywhere else she likes it down there must be something wrong with her there's nothing wrong with her. Okay, stepdad. Time we saw watching TV. Or reading a book. Or sitting down to have a chat with us. When was the last time you heard a laugh? Okay, like, she's dealing with, with, with stuff. Like, he is quite uh, harsh. And, and, and they're going to call him imaginary friends. But she's like, <laughs> nothing imaginary about them. I am human child. Come away with us. Their, their voices are getting more and more scary. This is the youngest oh. girl and the girl's cousin. These photographs were fake. Conan Doyle believed in them. He was Gaga at the time. How do you know so much about it? Because I wrote an essay on the Cartigny glass plate photographs when I was at school. So where was this sighting then? In a place called Roundstone Wood. Oh, I know it. Has an odd history. How do you mean odd? It's always stayed wild because it was considered bad luck to walk in there, even collect timber. I've had no hmm. report of any sighting. You won't. These things come in under the radar. So set up a program for our natural weather patterns. Are you saying our machines can't pick them up? Hmm. Nothing can. What is it? Is it, is it gone? Somewhere safe. That's all I want. Just put me somewhere safe. Confess your crimes. They're trying to kill me! He said there were flowers in his mouth. Flowers? They're trying to choke me. And they didn't want to hurt that little girl. It's just me. They just want to hurt me. They just want to kill me. The little girl. What little girl? I've done wrong. What do you mean you've done wrong? And if it's God, I'm sorry. I can't. Confess. It's little girls. He's an offender. It's their little bodies. It's oh no! It's his buttons. I've been oh. in before. So oh God. Just lock me up! Ew. Ew. Disgusting. Yo, they should have gotten you for sure. I hope they come she back for you. She said she'd never seen the pair of you yeah. together. Why would she? Despicable. Yo, they're just trailing everybody. I guess they don't even have... Why didn't they attack Estelle then? Anyone could have made this circle. Why do you keep doubting me? 
You keep looking for explanations. That's what police work's all about. This isn't police work. All right, then science. And it's not science. Wow, uh, Gwen is not a believer. Oh, look at that. There's some nice aerial shots here in this show. I think they really try to get some landscape stuff. Oh, God. I, I can't even look at this guy. Oh! Yo, that, th their look there. I didn't even see how big the wings were. It was just so quick. Honestly, good, good riddance. Yeah, bye. Oh, yo, I hope they're not just like trying to do it to everybody. Maybe they are making, they're actually just being friendly here. Maybe they're in their different form. Jazz. I heard you laughing, Jazz. I don't think she'll tell her mom. It seemed like you were talking to someone. Do you want to tell her? It's lovely to hear you laugh. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I thought I'd seen everything in this game until now. I mean, we had him locked up for Christ's sake on his own. What kind of things? Well, shadows, he said. And he was going on about being choked. And pedals. At first I thought he was a drunk or a nutcase or both. Name? Sir? Mark Goodson worked in town. Cause of death? Well, going by the pinpoint hemorrhages on the eyelids, I'd say oxygen deficiency. But it's odd. There's no fingertip bruising on the face, no areas of pallor. Did it just like take out the oxygen? You find the, the pedals. So I guess the pedals are not imaginary. Yeah, the pedals are not imaginary. They're real. <sighs> Jack would know immediately. Oh, God. Yeah. He took out his whole squadron or something. Never seen anything like that before. I have. Mm-hmm. Yo, it seems horrific to, to Jack. Who's this? Is this Estelle? I hope they don't come for Estelle. What side? Let the energies flow. Sure. Well, they will find you. But are they friendly or are they nefarious? Oh, oh my god, they're gonna be hostile. They don't, yeah. But she didn't do anything bad to them except take picture. Oh! You know, the dead man was a convicted pedophile. He's but why oh, the pickles in his mouth? Just a bit of fun on their part. That's the way these creatures like to do things. They play games, they torment, then they kill. Why? For a warning to others, they protect their own. The chosen ones. Oh, it's the kids. So they how do we the stop kids. them? First we have to find out who they want. And we can't trap them. They have control of the elements. The air, air that we breathe. Sometimes I think they're part Mara. Mara? Mara. Kind of malignant wraiths. It's where the word nightmare came from. Oh, that's what, that's the other form. They suffocate people in their sleep. Yo. Not, not the yeah. uh, tooth fairy. It's me, Estelle. What is it? You were right, Jack. They've come to me. Estelle, we're on our way. Stay where you are. Don't go anywhere oh. near them. Do you understand? Yes. Protect us still at all costs, please. Oh god, I feel like they're still there. Still get, get your energy crystals out. Use what you can. They must have a weakness. You need to find what that is. Maybe, maybe her photography, maybe her camera could be something light. You know? Oh, they came for the cat. You know cats can, can see everything. You can see evil. The cat is yelling, believe that cat. Moses. Come on, Ali. Moses. Oh god, I hope they didn't hurt Moses. I mean, if they hurt Moses, then Moses? there's just no hope. That, that means that they're not good at all. They're terrible. Moses! Oh, it's, oh Estelle. Oh no, they locked her out. Oh, Moses is fine. It's raining. 
Yo, they really do have control of the elements. It makes no sense. It's a fine night, yet the weather map says there's rain. Just there. Yo, thunderstorm just at her house. Yo, if don't strike her with lightning. They're laughing. Moses, do what you can. Oh! Yo, I hope they're not too late. Estelle! We love Estelle. Estelle! Oh no! Oh no! She died from drowning. No. Oh god, Jack is gonna be so devastated. They were just too late. Ah, oh, she called for help. <sighs> oh my god, it's very important to Jack. She died alone. He wasn't your dad that was in love with her all those years ago, was it? It was him. Yeah, it was just him. We once made a vow. And we'd be with each other till we died. Yeah. Because they like you are you would have to be your, your dad's twin brother, which is not it doesn't work out. It was definitely him. He's ages old. Oh. Oh, Estelle. And they talked about this about him loving somebody really dearly. <laughs> oh. Why did they target her? At the Astoria Ballroom, a few weeks before Christmas. She was 17 years old and she was beautiful. I loved her at first sight. Mmm, Carrie talks about her. But nothing lasted back then. Promises were always being broken. Mm. Estelle, to have to die like that. Those petals in Goodson's mouth. Where had you seen that before? Was that during the war? No, long before then. On a troop train. A whore. 1909. Fifteen men has lived with me in charge. charge. Everyone happy. Too happy. Yo, Too noisy. Yo, this is close quarters. Everybody's right beside each other. That would be like claustrophobia. Then we had a tunnel. Oh, and just like that. And when we came out of the tunnel, oh. fifteen men were dead. Well, no, no struggle, no, no sounds. That's horrific. Yo, I would lose it. They'd been suffocated. My squad. In an men instant. I was responsible for. But why were the men killed? Why were you spared? About a week earlier, some of them had got drunk, drove a truck through a village, ran over a child, killed her. Children. That child was a chosen one. Oh, the specific children that they choose, just like Jasmine. But why? It's not all children, just specific ones that they take an interest in. Maybe ones that are lonely or, or are going through things. Have, yeah, because ja Jazz is going through it. Most likely due to her, her family, you know, likely losing her dad and, and maybe a divorce. Something is going on here. Oh. Yo. She's me. As soon as I hear 20 sounds, lock that door, close the windows. Hours, couldn't say a word. Just sat there glowing because she thought I'd nicked a special stapler. Don't worry about it. She always complaining. You okay? Oh, this is her my boyfriend. I thought it was the Jazz's dad. Jazz's dad. Oh. Bloody hell. And and pedals. Oh, they are trailing her now. Oh, and the formation. Stonehenge. Oh my god. I'd rather play down the garden. Eesh. She said no thank you. 
She's spending too much time down there. Don't worry. I'm going to put a stop to things. God. Yo, he's not nice. So what are you going to do when they start building at the bottom of the garden? It'll happen one day. So you'll find a new one. Don't you ever want to have a conversation with me? Yo. He'll come for you. Your dad left when you were a baby. Oh! Oh! What? That's so mean to say to a girl at, at that age. No wonder your dad left? What? Yo, I thought he was just annoying, but he's actually like a horrible person. Yo, that's so bad. Yeah, no wonder she won't talk to you because you're literally trash. And they're bullying her in school. Jasmine. Did someone push you, Jasmine? Yeah. Who? Don't know Point them miss. Out. You're miss, they're pushing her every day here. It's I have crazy. I have never had to feel threatened in my own home. But not anymore, Ooh. because this means these creatures can invade my life whenever they feel like it, and I am scared, Jack. What chance no. did Estelle have? What chance do any of us have? None. And you're working in this line, uh, uh, this line of work. This is what it comes with. Potential danger at home to your you loved said ones. These creatures protect their own. You mentioned the chosen ones. What are they? How many are there? Tell me, Jack. Oh God. All these so-called fairies were children once, from different moments in time, going back millennia. He's a chosen one. I just realized. Part of the lost lands. That's why he survived. The lands that belong to them. Where's Jack Harkness from? We never truly really found out. Want. They want what's theirs. They're the lines. next chosen one. She's the next chosen one. Jack must have been a chosen one. Hmm. That's why he was spared that time. Hey, you. Hell on us. Nope. Oh, here we go. Dead, yeah. Here we go, Elsabeth. Oh, oh my god. These are the stepsisters from. Cinderella. Want... Would, they, would they hurt kids? In the area. What's the weather forecast for today? Long sunny spells. It's happening again. Oh, it's getting windy. <laughs> oh, she said. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Jazz is reveling in her new power. She said, serves you right. <laughs> She's enjoying this. <laughs> Jazz says, yes. And I can ever lay your hand on me again, you will see the true power. She <laughs> oh, miss. Yeah, I think you better. Yo, this wind is too much. Yo, it's felling trees. Jazz is laughing. Jazz is watching. Yo, miss is looking at her scared. But honestly, those two girls, you know, I'm sorry. They, they really did do the. the. The, the bullying. He's locking it up because he doesn't want her to go and have fun in the garden. Like, how are you stopping her from having fun? From being a child? Torch, would they have their name on the car? That, that torch with money. <laughs> what is she looking at? Pedals? Pedals. Oh, they're here again. They're still here. Yo, I mean, she's scared, scared, because they can just sudden. take you in a second. Then it, then it just ended. Kate, is it? Was anyone hurt? Two children were almost scared to death, but they're okay. What is it? I saw them, and there was little Jasmine in amongst it all. Laughing. The sun was shining down on her. It was like an aura. Like she was the chosen one. Jasmine Pierce, she's a pupil of mine. Where is she now? We're sending all the children home. The chosen one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the chosen one. Whenever I see this stepdad guy, I'm just so annoyed. You know, she's giving me Matilda vibes, you know, in the sense of getting power or getting something different and then, you know, enjoying it. Is he doing? Um, they're they're, they're going to get in here. Fire. They control fire. You should invite them to the party. You don't like parties. They can be anywhere and everywhere. They can even be in this room. Where did you meet these friends? Must have met them somewhere. He said they'll always look after me, even through time. Wow, even through time. Even through time is wild. Seems to be what's happening to Jack Harkness. It looks like that, that is. Oh yeah, got big plans for this place. Gonna uh, extend the patio, uh, landscape this garden. Go 
Come on, Jess. Bring up with that food. People are hungry. So when are you going to name the day, boy? She will never. Can't afford to keep her. You know, she wanted to come for her stepdad so bad. She's like, get him. No! No! no. no. Can't do this. This is my own place. It's mine. I said, get away. Oh, Jess! Oh! Ah. oh. Oh my god! Yo, that's egregious. Like, what? what the hell is wrong with this guy? What an asshole. They got Estelle first before this guy? Get your priorities straight, fairies. Like, seriously. Wow, how did I hit a child like that? Boy, she's around, eh? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you all know, today is a very special day. No one cares. Ellen and me have been together now for the past five years. She's also been my rock and my best friend. Aww. And now we're looking forward to having children of our own. Trash. Trash. Get him. Oh, everyone can see them now. They are like, how dare you touch the chosen one? How dare you? Carry him. Take him. Yo, get him first. Oh, well, that's how they look. <laughs> Jazz, Jazz is like, mm -hmm. and, and what? Yeah. Yo, yeah, she opened that gate. Yeah, they are tall. Oh my god. Oh. Do it to Jack? Ah, uh, what did they take? Is that how they always do it? Oh my god. Yo. Yo, that was horrific. And then there's petals in his mouth. Or is that just blood? Where's petals? Ah, ew. Oh my god. I mean, he wasn't- no, no. Do you know you walk in the forest? Well, you are. It looks like a very old forest, and it's magical. You can see this forest? Yes. But it's not here. It's just an illusion, Jasmine. Illusion. <laughs> Illusion. Your friends are just playing a game with you. The real force can never come back. Oh, it can? When they take me to it? Oh. They told you this? But what about your mother? Don't you want to stay with her? Oh. Come on. The child isn't sure. No! Leave her alone. Oh my god. Another chosen one. Too late. She belongs with us. She lives forever. Where's Jazz? Wait! Oh! oh Jazz! My daughter! Suppose we make her stay with us. And not so people will die. They tell you that? They promised. Come on. Promised. Next time I kill everyone at my school, like I killed Roy. Oh. And your friend. How do you know these things? If they want to, they can make great storms. Kill every living oh, thing. God. Let me go! Yo. The child won't be harmed. Jack, you can't answer me! She won't be harmed! She lives forever. Dead world, is that what you want? What good is that to you? She wants to go with There will them. be no more chosen ones! They'll find us back in time. She's speaking through her. Oh my god. Take her. Take her. Yes, no. Ugh. What chance we have against them for the sake of the world? This is our only chance. Oh, is it like that though? Yo. Thank you. Oh. Yes. She's gone. Yo, her mom. Yes. Oh, yo, her mom though, right? Ah. Oh. No. 
Yo, she just lost a lot in a day. It's supposed to be a fun day for her. Damn. That, that's, that's tragic. Gwen is not going to understand that. The whole team. Jack, you need to fess up and t tell them more. I think you're just leaving some stuff out and it's hard for them to understand your reasoning. Because they'll just feel like... Okay, what is that? Like, that's, that's a stacked van. Yo, Estelle. They're still here. What? Is that a picture? That's Jazz. She's one of them now. Then you can understand. Wow. She's one of... She's one of them now. Okay. I, uh, that, that is kind of interesting that Jack let her go like that. Um, yeah. Ugh. He just made that exe ex executive decision and like her mom was right there and she's like, yo. He didn't even get a chance to say, say goodbye to her. Damn. Jazz's stepdad, what a monster of a human being. What a scumbag. You know, you know, hitting her, calling her, like t t telling her your your dad. Uh, that's why your dad left you. Oh God, uh, I like I I was just like yo. I didn't feel bad at all. Like at the end, what happened to him? I didn't feel bad at all. So you know, he deserved what he got, honestly. Uh, but you know, she she was she was just kind of going through it at home, and then you know, obviously dealing with now you know at home like the, the home life, and then also at school being being bullied, having no one to talk to at home, um, and uh, yeah, just like even just at the beginning and waiting for for someone to to pick her up from school and being in danger at a risk in that way from like predators, it it, it just uh yeah, so I think you know, I'm, 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 my my thought is that that's what drew the fairies to her. Maybe that's what goes into the chosen one in a sense, or, or something of that nature. Um, and um, you know, she really felt so disconnected and was looking for you know this garden, this place, this forest, like what this what this signified to her uh, to get away from from the the horrors of of of, of her life, right? Uh, and what for what for such a little girl to to go through that field to need that escape? And you see, so she had no connection to her mom. I think she, you know, her mom was part of the problem for her. I would say, you know, um, uh, also not 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 being able to recognize how how her step how her how her stepdad was was treating her, like how the stepdad was treating her daughter, um, and all of that. So I think she just sort of like dis disconnected from from that home life and uh, and latched onto on, onto what what the fairies were saying. I I I'm still trying to look for the connection with Jack Harkness as well because obviously he talked about him being spared. So my mind went to maybe he was the chosen one in that sense at that time. Um, but he felt that, you know, you could tell how horrific it was for him uh, to Jack, um, that he gave her up at the end. Um, you know, that was quite tough because obviously her mom was right there and she ran to try to get to her, but she was already gone. So she didn't even get a goodbye, but, um, the team didn't understand this. And, and I could see how they would feel that way because, um, you know, if it was like, okay, these uh, fairies will cause the end of the world. They're so powerful. We have, we're powerless to stop them. Um, you know, I think most people would say like oh but we've dealt with world ending events before and really powerful people cybermen and all that kind of stuff so you know we still find a way to make it work and save the most lives as we can and not like sacrifice people so i think that's that's when that that they they got a bad bad vibe from that and i and i understand that coming from the cyber woman episode before this and telling um yanto to go you know to, take the gun and go kill the person that you love because it's gonna you know and i think they were really scarred from that too saying hey are we all just dispendable to you when the time comes um or are we not gonna fight for the the people there and i think torchwood is going through that uh sort of uh development in in the sense that at the beginning it was just all about alien artifacts and getting these uh you know alien tech or connecting with aliens or f finding uh um uh stuff that they could use but it wasn't about saving people it wasn't about you know even in the first scene we saw them using the 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 glove the 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 thing to to reanimate the guy just to find out what it was like it wasn't about his life or saving him or giving him a uh you know a, a nice a uh, last uh, a minute or 30 seconds or whatever he had so, but now you see they've gone through that progression of, and some of, some of that has had to do with Gwen coming into the team and telling them, hey, we can actually just help people here. And so Gwen was devastated that, uh, why are we letting this, why are we, why are we giving it, giving her up to them, you know? Um, 
So yeah, I think uh, it was sort of a, a, a difference in in uh, in opinion, and Jack just made the executive decision to 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 do that. And I don't think he explained himself very well to the rest of the team. So it's definitely going to uh, be an issue. I, I'm I'm looking at this as being something that's gonna keep. Uh, driving a wedge between the team they're they're getting more and more apart like they're i think each episode they're dealing with either a betrayal from from the team member or decision making that is uh fracturing them or pulling them apart so you know i've never I, it's, it's wild because i don't i feel like it's I, it's been a while since i've seen or i don't even remember seeing a team that's supposed to be like together and work together um against uh adversaries or aliens or whatever and they're so fractured like they're so incredibly uh, different or they have different ways of wanting to to do things um there usually is conflict but this kind of conflict is very like should we even be a team at all so i think jack needs to explain himself to the team i think he's uh he's he's holding so much back and i think it just takes so much to get something out of him i really love that they brought estelle this episode to uh to show that hey here is someone that you love here's someone that was part of your life wow okay we're learning a little bit about you i like that gwen was there for that i don't know if the rest of the team you know got that from him um but i like that they're putting gwen in those scenes and her being forward and asking him those questions i think i think the thing too is the rest of the team doesn't really push jack a lot to say hey like tell us um i think they just sort of like leave him there to you know be the boss and, and do the things and bark the orders out but gwen really pushes him and says hey who was this person to you like clearly this is not your dad this is you you know and and does those follow-up questions that lead that leads to uh finding out more so i think she will be the catalyst that will be, they'll, they'll try to bring the team together um but yeah, it, uh, it's quite, it seems like one tough episode after the other. And Torchwood does deal in a lot of, like adult, as we said, a lot of adult themes, also sensitive topics. Um, uh, and like gore in, in, in many ways. Like last episode was very gory. Uh, this one, I guess they ended up making the, I guess the rose, rose petals were more like the, the, the blood, I guess. So uh, I'll signify blood anyways. So that was at least better. <laughs> Than like seeing full on blood all, all over the place. Yeah, it was it was nice to see the Estelle and Jack relationship and to get that side to him. Um, you know, it would be nice to see more of that from him as as episodes go on to see more of his story and more of the past. You know, even in Doctor Who, we didn't get that much of his past. I don't think it like much at all. So this is really telling his story as well. And uh, you know, I'm trying to connect the dots. You know, in the timelines and when things happen, and it's kind of being jumbled up in my head. So. Um, uh some in, in in some ways that like i almost see him as a new character it's like i want to see someone from doctor who with him so i can sort of like piece together what they know and what he knows you know it's sort of like who who is he in this world it's really enshrouded in mystery um but yeah i hope to see more from his past in this show so that we can get to know like who is this jack actually and what is the timeline for him this was, you know, one of the times when Gwen, I think, was really, really scared. I think she, you know, in the past couple of episodes, I think she was scared in the episode one and stuff, and she had those moments. But this one, she seemed, I think, when it came to her house, when it was like, yo, this this thing can follow you home. It's not just like, you know, in the basement of, of, of Torchwood and coming home and then living a different life. No, it can follow you home. Your your boyfriend could be in danger because of what you brought home and all that kind of stuff. So I think it all hit her that, like, this is real serious stuff here. Um, and, and you could tell she was really scared this episode when she was running in the school, running away. Um, so I think uh, she's now beginning to learn more and more of the dangers of their work. Like the enemies and stuff are getting even more terrifying and like undreadful. So um, looking to see how she continues to, 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 to take that. This is the first time she just screamed, like shouted, like, oh my God, like what the hell? Like what's going on? Um, yeah, which makes sense. Like this is not... Uh, not just like, oh, the companion and the doctor. This is like, yo, you know, we're all just regular people. You know, at the end of the day, like we're not time lords and stuff. Like we're just regular people with alien devices. Like they can come for us. We don't have all this, you know. So I think there's that is real fear here. Well, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.